what I want to do is I'm going to edit this uh, pivot table and I want to add a revenue column to it. Okay, I want to add the revenue. And I'm going to stick it right in between the build quantity and the build booked. And basically, I just want to show you some different formatting techniques. Uh, I want to, first off, um, I want to duplicate that column. Okay, and we can do some different things. You notice you can format the heading, the display is a running sum, whatever you want to do. This is kind of interesting when you duplicate these things uh, to add some aggravation to it, um, to be able to sum, show the first one, show the last one. There's the running total. We're going to duplicate this one. And notice it gave us another column. Basically, it's just a duplication of the first one. So in here, we can come in here and format the headings. And I want to change this one to um, this particular one. I want to change 2% of period. OK. Notice we can uh, change the different cell properties, the font properties. And what I want to do is go down here, additional formatting options. Again, you can do some padding and some other customizations of these fields in that area. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And we've got a duplication of our revenue and our percent of period. So what we want to do here is Click Show Data As. We're going to click on the properties of our new field, our copied field. Show Data As, a percentage of a column. We can do a percentage of row, per percentage of layer, percentage of the section. So what do you want a percentage of? and it's going to retrieve our data up above here, and we can say done. And we've got the 100%. I'm going to say done. There's our 100%, okay? So as we drill down into our totals now, and we will notice that we still get the total products and the totals, but all of these are subtotals of the total, and again, if we add up the percentages, we will notice that they add up to a 100% as well. So now we get a percentage of the total. We get a, um, our subset. So the percentage works along with drilling uh, equally well. So we can open up the time again. I expand the total time, and now we get our subtotals and our percentages of that particular time. The total time, that's the percentage there. There's the percentage of the 100 per of the uh, year 2010, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to condense the total time here. There we go. And I'm going to save this. One of the things I've noticed with this newer image from Oracle is that it has not hung as much as in the past. It seemed like occasionally on the older versions I would do something and it would just never never seem to come back. Uh, Oracle seems to have fixed many of those issues and it's working better. Um, I think I need a faster computer to run my uh, to run this VM box image on. But it is working well, and it's doing rather well. So let's now add a, some totals to our, our report. And this is pretty easily done. Uh, we can go back to the, this is our layout editor. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the edit. There's our pivot table prompts, um, sections, pivot table, and the row ones. And notice we have a, a subtotal here for no totals. So we can do totals for virtually about anything. 
there's the columns for the entire pivot table. But I want uh, uh, to add a totals for the uh, rows, and I want them to appear after all the rows are returned. So whenever it's, it's summing things up or, or drilling the data, we'll have a grand total at the bottom. And I'm going to say done. And it's going to retrieve my data. And we've got grand totals at the bottom. So as we're drilling and we're exposing data, we can always slide to the top and see totals, bottom and see totals. And life is good with pivot tables. One of the things to notice is that our top line here and our bottom line have the same, same numbers in them, okay? Uh, which is a feature of pivot tables. Some reporting requirements, though, have the need to put the total at the bottom. So this gives you the ability to total. Um, but when using hierarchical columns, it's not possible for subtotals, but only for the grand total. To remove the product's total level, okay, these product total, this one here in the middle, we can expand the selection step. So let's go in and, and edit. And there's the selection steps at the bottom, okay? So expand that out. We're going to scroll down a little bit. And now we edit the compound layout, okay? And open up, down at the very bottom will be the selection steps. Open up the selection steps and scroll down until you find the products area. There's, there's measures, time, and products, okay? And there's our products hierarchy. So it starts with all members, and then next step, okay? And we want to select members out of that, and it gives us a way to select the members. So notice here, we can select just the ones that we want to appear. So if we don't select the total products, but just this one, this one, and this one perhaps, that's all that's going to appear in our output. And make sure, action, add, keep only. Okay? Add will add these to the output display Keep only only puts these in the output display. So let's say OK and done. And now there's our product products hierarchy. It doesn't have the total at the top. It just has the grand total at the bottom. And we can drill all the same with the thing. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got that saved as sales by product. I'm going to go ahead and save this output.